Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky and I'm here at Clever Labs with my friend Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor. And he's going to be breaking down for all of you how he is building a real estate portfolio and getting homeowners to give them their houses for free. I hope you learned something new and if you do, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Let's get it. All right team, we got Sperbs here and he's about to blow your socks off on the digital whiteboard. So I hope that you're wearing two pairs of socks. Take it away. <laughs> all right, what's going on gang? Hey, check this out. So I'm about to break down how to get, build a real estate portfolio, build wealth, and get houses for free. Now, I was talking to Ricky and I was telling him, I, I got 22 doors added to my portfolio since coronavirus broke down the economy. It's because uh, processes like this, these strategies are really starting to work well and I think they're gonna work well for 2021. So, let's talk about going to a bank, getting a loan, having to have job history, having to have a down payment, having to have good credit, Having to personally guarantee the loan, it sucks, right? Like nobody wants to go to a bank and deal with all the paperwork and stuff. So this is creative real estate investing and I want you to think about it like this. There's two sides to a transaction and I'm gonna use two creative investing tools to pull this all together. I like that. All right, and so I know you've, you've done some wholesaling, you've done some rehabbing, this is like the next level. Definitely. All right. And so, I think that's the part that I'm, I'm sorry for interjecting, but that's the part that I'm super excited for, especially for the Avengers online event. So you guys know that I share my story and my overall processes of someone that's just getting started in the real estate realm. And we got Cody Sperber that's just absolutely killing it. And if you guys actually want to tune on into this event, after you're done watching this video, make sure you click the first link down below and save your spot because you are covering one of the three main topics when it comes down to this specific process, correct? Yeah, so uh, yeah, and, and you're speaking at it. You're gonna be speaking at the Avengers Live event coming up December 4th, 5th, and 6th, so we would love to see you there. But yeah, I'm gonna cover one of the topics here today and then at the event, we'll go deeper, yep. all right? So um, every single time I generate a lead, uh, the seller that I'm talking to falls into one of three buckets. Either they own the house free and clear, right? And there's actually a lot of people that own real estate free and clear. A lot of landlords and people that have owned houses for a really long time, they paid off their mortgages. Or they own the house, it has a loan on it, and they owe as much or more than the house is currently worth. So they have no equity. Or they have a loan on the property, they have a bunch of equity on top of it, meaning that there's a lot of profit built into the house. The house is worth this amount and they own this amount. And uh, they want to sell, but they have, they have a loan, they have equity. So it's one of those three scenarios. Free and clear, no equity, a lot of equity with a loan on it. So I'm gonna break down a deal that I recently done where the guy owned it free and clear. Okay. And then at the Avengers event, we'll break down the other strategy. So like I said, there's two sides to this transaction. One is to get the deal under contract. So you mentioned a seller gladly giving you their house for free. Yep. You'd be surprised, but if you solve their housing problem, they were gonna wanna do a deal with you. So uh, you've heard of like maybe wholesaling where somebody shows up and says, I'll pay you all cash for the property. Uh -huh. Well, how many of those homeowners are so motivated to sell at a big discount that they're gonna say, okay, I'll sell you my $150,000 house for 90. Yeah. That's like 10%, yeah. right? So what about all the rest of the leads that we're generating? Well, they might not be that motivated, so that's where these tools come into play. So I showed up, a landlord owned the house. It was one of 14 properties in his portfolio. This one, the tenant moved out in the middle of the night, kind of kicked the place on the way out and didn't treat the place very good and beat it up a little bit. And he wanted to sell the property for $150,000, all right? The house was only worth like 160, 165. So he was almost asking for full retail. Now he had a bunch of offers for 80, 90, 75 from wholesalers and you know investors trying to pay cash, but he wouldn't budge from the 150. So I showed up and I said, okay, you own the house free and clear. Why would this house make a good rental property? He goes, oh yeah, it makes a great rental. And I go, would a bank loan on this property? He said, oh yeah, a bank would loan on this property. And I said, would, it, would this house make good collateral for the bank loan? And he said, yeah, yeah, it would. And I said, well, why don't you be my bank? Instead of negotiating, trying to get you down on price, I'll pay you what you want. Mm -hmm. And you be my bank and I'll make you payments. And now you don't have to deal with tenants and toilets. I'll make you payments, you get mailbox money. And he said, that's great. Because I also asked him, do you think the pro price of the, or the value of the property is gonna go down over time? And we all kind of have that feeling inside, like the market's probably gonna crash in the next three years. So 
this is great for him to lock in his profits now, sell to a guy like me that'll pay him what he wants, no negotiation. Mm -hmm. The only thing I did ask him for is I said, look, I'll pay you the 150, but I want to make you payments over 30 years, and I'll make you equal monthly payments until paid. And he goes, well, if you pay me the 150, I'll do that. What I just said to him is 0% interest, right? And he came back and said, you know what, Cody, after thinking about it, I don't want to do 0% interest. I want to make money on my money because yeah. he's a smart investor. And I said, okay, well, what do you want? He said, well, I'll do 4.5% interest rate. Smart guy, right? Yeah. He wants 4.5% interest rate. I said, okay, I'll, give, I'll do the 4.5% interest rate, but I don't want to put any money down because I'm, I'm paying you what you want. And he said, okay, I'll do that if you give me the 4.5% interest rate. So I'm coming into this deal with nothing down. I'm going to make him payments amortized over 30 years, which is uh, $975 a month. So if you got out a mortgage calculator and put in zero down, 4.5% interest amortized over 30 years for a $150,000 loan, you'd get $975. So he said, I'll take $975 a month, and that's great. Well, I looked it up. The rents in the area were anywhere between $1,400, $1,500, $1,600 a month, yep. depending on the, the quality of the house. So I knew rents over here were, were, were pretty good. So this is the back half, half of the transaction. You, before doing a, a deal like this, you got to know kind of what it will rent for. So my goal is I'm looking for a spread. I'm looking to see, all right, if I pay this guy $9.75 a month, how much can I create over here? And in this scenario, I saw that rents were $1,400, $1,500, $1,600. So I decided I'm going to try and rent this thing for $1,575 a month. Now, if I... Did, if I got fifteen seventy five a month, how much cash flow do I get every single month? Six hundred. Six hundred dollars, right? So I would be getting six hundred dollars. Now, normally, when real estate investors buy a property and then they go to rent it out, that's the only income that they receive. Yep. See, I like to be creative and, and be a little clever, right? So instead of doing a standard rental, I on the back end did a rent to own program. Now, the reason I like rent-to-own programs is you always get paid three times when you do a rent-to-own, all right? You get paid upfront with upfront money, you get your cash flow, and then you get your long-term wealth building money. Okay. So I like to get paid three times. you like one time or three times? Uh, I like three times. Come on, let's get paid three times. So how do we get three times? Well, so I decided to advertise it instead of a normal rental as a rent-to-own or buy-like rent. And I said, you know what? If and the way rent to owns work is it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. There are a lot of people out there that maybe can't qualify for a bank loan yet, but within a certain period of time, they can. Maybe they got a new job, maybe they're an entrepreneur and it's hard to you know, qualify because they just started a company. Yeah. Maybe their credit's not so good right now, but they're fixing it over time. And a lot of people like that feeling of home ownership, and they may, or they, maybe they don't have a big down payment to put 20% down, but they have 10 grand saved, or 15 grand saved, or 20 grand saved. So I put out advertising, and it's really easy. I mean, you could literally just put out advertising on Zillow, yeah. and you'll find tons of people. I think I've seen signs like this on the streets as You can well. see them on the, on the streets as well. But So I put out some advertising that said rent to own, 175000 would be what they can buy it for. Now, remember, I said it was only worth one sixty five. I only marked it up ten grand. Yep. But I'm only into it for one fifty, so I marked it up to one seventy five. I probably could have pushed it to one eighty five, one ninety five. But I just thought, let's get this thing done real quick. So I advertised it for $175,000. I wanted the option price, this is also called an option deposit, to be $10,000. So I was making it really easy for somebody to come in and put up their $10,000 to have the right to buy the property from me for $175,000 within 18 months. Now, this is called the option term, this is the option price, and this is the purchase price. So the purchase price, one seventy-five. dollars the option price, $10,000 to have the right to do this. The option term is 18 months. And they were gonna rent it from, for me for $15.75 a month with a $100 a month rent credit, which means that every time you pay me in full and on time, out of this $15.75, I'm gonna credit you $100 of your rent towards your future purchase price. Okay to come off of closing costs and future repairs. So, and the way a lease option works is they cannot buy the property until the end of their rental period. So I structured the rental period to be 
18 months. Yeah. I structured the option to be 18 months so they're in alignment. Yeah. And what that means is they rent from me and they're gonna pay me 600 a month in pure cash flow. That's how much I'm keeping out of the 1575. I also got $10,000 up front. Yeah. So now I put money in my pocket. Yeah. Okay, and then at the end, if they execute this option at the 18th month, how much am I going to make? So, well, 25,000 off of that, 35,000 off of that, and then 18 is 1.6 months, so another $600. Uh, I don't know, what is that? Yeah, it's actually uh, 45,800. Oh, quick math. I'm not that, not that good at it, Cody. <laughs> so, if you add up 18 times 18, right? Yeah. And you got the twenty-five thousand in profit, plus some of this is going to principal. So I'm actually going to make a little bit more than that, because every time I make a payment over the eighteen months, some of it's going towards principal. So I'm actually going to owe probably like let's just call it one forty-seven yeah. five or something like that. So I might make forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine thousand on this deal that I literally got into for no money out of my pocket. I actually creatively structured on the back end to get money into my pocket. And now I'm building cash flow, which makes me happy. And then long-term wealth building. Question for you. What if they do not execute at the end of 18 months? That's a great question. And what's cool is we have options, right? We can go back to them and say, because the way I structure my options, they have to let me know within 90 days of this time of whether or not they're going to execute the option. And so let's say they come to me and say, Cody, I, I'm not ready. My credit's not good enough, or I, I don't have enough down payment, or I need, I need some more time. I'll extend you out for $1,500 or for $1,000. I'll extend you another six months. Okay, and that goes back to your... So, so let's just say they say they want an extension for 2K. So now I'm getting another 2K, and then I might say, and I need your rent to be 1600 for that extra time period. Yeah. So I increase rents. You see how it's just, yeah. I'm pulling levers. Been able to leverage it. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and, and I can extend it out. Or I can just go to them and I can say, hey, listen, I'm sorry that you are not ready. Unfortunately, I'm out of time and I don't want to continue to, to extend. Yeah. So you're going to have to go find another place. Yeah. So if they, they only pay 10 grand for the right to buy it at the end of the 18th month. If they don't, they forfeit their 10K, so that stays in my pocket, and they move out of the house and I do it all over again. Okay. And if they do execute it, I then apply this 10K towards their purchase price. So now, now they'll buy for 165, right? Because I already got 10. Yeah. About 20% to 30% of the people I do this with execute the option and buy. Yeah. 20 to 30% ask for an extension, and the rest just move out. Yeah. And I do it all over again. So my ROIs keep going up every time I do it. Again, and again. So the way that I see this, and I, I honestly have never, uh, I personally have never done this myself, nor have I ever heard of it, but I like it because you're pretty much a solution for someone that wants to get 150000 which might be pretty much asking price, but doesn't maybe want to get a real estate agent involved, but as well as you're also another solution for someone that cannot currently qualify and you pretty much have seller financing that you're able to leverage, you have cash flow, you have the deposit that will pretty much cover you, and then if they do not execute the option, like you said, you just do it all over again. Exactly, and I said that there is three strategies. Now, w this person happened to own the house free and clear. Yeah. What if they had a mortgage? There's a solution for that. What if they have a mortgage plus equity? There's a solution for that. Yeah. Those are the kind of things I want to talk about at the Avengers event yeah. because we'll have three days to go down the rabbit hole and really open this up and show you all the creative ways to build a, a, a portfolio without going to a bank. I will never, ever go to a bank again and personally guarantee for a loan. I like that's it. my goal that's the goal so and that's one of the things that I've talked to you guys a lot about is uh, I think the most unique way that I feel like I've been able to talk about investing in real estate with no money down is a traditional idea of wholesaling which has become more popular right mm -hmm. and now being able to talk about different alternatives that are even new to me I think that's why being able to attend the event is so exciting because yeah I talk about the very basics for someone that might want to get started and buying the first house which can be useful but not only do I want to cover that but I think being able to hear kind of like true professionals like yourself at this event and I think that's the really exciting part about being able to attend this event is from 4th 5th and 6th of December if you do not have anything planned why not be able to tune on in from the comfort of your home and learn from not only myself but also learn from 
the Avengers themselves. We call this guy Iron Man. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for having me on the channel. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. So again, if you guys want to tune on in to that live event, that's going to be that first link down below. Don't forget to follow Cody Sperber on Instagram, and that's going to be that second link down below. He has a little bit over a million followers, so it's just a little bit more than I do. Uh, but as well, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you learned something new, I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Until next time.